Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are here hearty. Today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic in chemistry that is the molecular orbital theory for tetrahedral complexes. Now moving on to our topic in tetrahedral complexes, the geometry is tetrahedral as can be considered from this name tetrahedral. The coordination number in these complexes is 4 and the secondary valency it is also for because the coordination number is secondary uh, valency are related. Now in this tetrahedral complexes the ligand attached is weak ligand because if it is strong ligand it will give us a square planar complex. So that is why the ligand attached over here is weak. Now we have taken an example of tetrachloronickel tet in this case the oxidation state of nickel is plus 2. You can see the complex has minus 2 charge, so the oxidation state which is plus 2 and the secondary the primary valency in this case is also plus 2 because oxidation state is also known as the primary valency. Now the valence electronic configuration of this uh, central metal is as you can see the atomic number which is represented by Z over here is I think 28 and the valence electronic configuration for this case is 4s2 3d8 but as you can see in this case the nickel is in plus 2 oxygen state so the two electron will be removed from this s subshell so the new configuration will be remain as 4s0 3d8 now let's fill these orbitals subshells. This is 3D, this is 4S and this is 4P. Now you can see the 3D, how many electrons over here? 8 electron will be filled in case of degenerate. You, um, you might have studied about the rules of filling of subshell orbitals. Revise that again. So uh, it will be filled just like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7, 8. Now we will move on to this pairing, uh, the donation of this pair, the lone pair or the, bo uh, the lone pairs from this uh, bond pairs, the lone pairs from this chlorine. In this case you know that in hybridization technique now you will understand what the phenomena is. This chlorine, uh, first of all you know that here the no uh, the pairing will be not occur because the chlorine attach is weak and weak ligand is unable to cause pairing over here in this 3D subshell. So that's why it will remain its own designing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The pair will be donated to this 4S, this 4P. Because as you uh, know that here, over here we have four uh, chlorine, so the four pair will be denoted in this four uh, S and four B. Now this is three D. This is four S and this is four P. Now what is the hybridization over here? The hybridization in this case is S P three, and you know very well that S P three hybridization is present in those compounds which have tetrahedral geometry. So that's why we uh, called this complex has tetrahedral uh, geometry. So now moving swiftly on to our topic of the representation of molecular orbital representation. So and you know that uh, first of all you might have studied a little bit about the group theory. If uh, you haven't studied you uh, please have a comment over here uh, so that I will start uh, group theory also. But I will uh, shortly give you some points of group theory, the final designation for which is represent, uh, which are designed for this S, P, X, P, Y, P, Z, D, X, Y, D, X, Z and D, Y, Z, D, Z square, D, X square minus Y square. For this S, the representation, the designation is A1 
for this p x p y the group theory designation is t1 there we will you will study about the reducible non reducible but uh, if you are interested in group theory let me know in the comment section i will also talk about that for this dx dy dz the representation designation is also t1 and for this dz square and dx square y square is e now you will have a question in your mind if you have that in octahedral complexes if you have watched that video for octahedral complex i have written over here t u t u but here i only write a t t and e why that's because simple simply you know that in octahedral complex we have symmetry and the tetrahedral molecules don't have symmetry so this t the G, which is uh, considered which is known as uh, the e and g is known as the uh, eg and u which is known as some people call it girade some people call it is uh, girade and some people call it is girade whatever i don't know what is the correct but we call it as girade ungirade so the g is uh, g and u is uh, studied in that case which have center of symmetry for the, which is uh, related to octahedral complexes but as in this case the tetrahedral complexes don't have center of symmetry so that's why we don't mention over here this u and g and simply when this t is trip rigid at a state and here of u i don't know what is why used e if you have uh, idea and let me know in the comment section but this is uh, used for the doubly generate state now moving on to molecular uh, orbital representation for this one so you know that molecular uh, orbital theory in this case first of all you have to write 5d orbitals i mean 5d orbitals of 3d so you have 1 2 3 4 5 1 1 is for 4s 1 3 for 4p now you can see we have the this is the central metal ligand and this is the central metal and this is the orbitals for the ligand which are how many numbers which are 4 1 2 3 4 now you can see that these have eight electrons in this case the electrons are shifted to this 4s and 4p so you can see now this is 4s which will be stable so that's why we write it in down condition lower energy electrons filled over here so you know that uh, where there is a possibility of bonding there is a possibility of antibonding as well this is quantum concept so that's why we have to write an antibonding molecular orbital also but as you know the electrons are filled in bonding so that's why antibonding remain empty now for this p for three or uh, three pairs are uh, donated to this p orbitals px py pz so 